Hello YouTube, my name is Michael and today I'm going to be insulating an interior door. Now I'm working on a bit of a project here down in the basement and I switched out a door that led to a cold area. Now I looked at the insulated options that were available to me and I really just couldn't find something that fit the uh, visual that I was looking for for this space. So what I chose to do was to replace the door uh, similar to the other interior doors that I'm using down in this area. And then the plan was to insulate the door using styrofoam rigid insulation. So I'm going to be installing an R5 uh, styrofoam board. I'm going to be actually doubling it up. And uh, with that, I should be able to get the uh, R value that I think would make sense for the space. The first step in the project was to remove the door handle from the back. This will allow me to install more easily. Next up, I had to take the measurements for the uh, insulation, uh, keeping in mind that the door stops needed to be accounted for. This meant that the insulation would not go to the edge of the doors. Using a large square, I then uh, cut the uh, panels to size, again keeping in mind that the uh, panels needed to uh, be back from the door stop to some degree. Using a sharp blade, I was able to cut the material very easily. I then set out for where the uh, door handle set would be. Using a sharpie, I would just mark that off, use a square and cut uh, the square outline to uh, allow for the door handle to pass through. Again, sharp knife makes quick work of it and really allows for a high level of precision. Now test fit it uh, prior to actually installing it uh, and then I moved on to the balance of the materials and it next up was the uh, adhesive. This is a, an adhesive that is specific for uh, foam board insulation. Uh, really was just trying to get it onto the perimeter of the door. Uh, obviously the door uh, sets back in the center area and applying the adhesive in that area of course will not have any uh, value to binding the board to the surface. Now just uh, setting it in place, uh, checking it from both left and right and from the floor allowed me to ensure that the door was operational and that the panel was securely seated onto the door at that point. So uh, moving on to the top section here, again, just changed up the uh, technique a little bit here. Uh, perhaps put down more adhesive than was actually necessary, uh, but wanted to ensure that there was a tight bond on the surface of the door and the uh, insulation. Mounted the second panel here where it allowed me again to check how the uh, surface matched up with the uh, opening for the door and wiped off any excess that had spilled out from the sides. Moved on to the second level, really just followed the process as in the first. However, again, you're going to notice that in this case here, there was more off cuts that I used and I felt that by putting down the adhesive and securing it uh, to the first level, really allowed for efficient use of the uh, available product and uh, provided the insulation value that I was after here. Overall, it was a pretty simple project and I believe it will provide good insulation value to the uh, interior door that I am now using to separate this room from the cold area of the basement. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, throw those in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.